Oh, fine, pull it out. I can't get it out. <laughs>Hey everybody, welcome to Road CC's Shiny Stuff. This is Shiny Stuff, the home edition. Unfortunately, because of the lockdown, we can't have Liam with us today, but we do have an able deputy in the form of Pudding the Labrador, who is uh, gonna hold the stuff for us. He's not as talkative as Liam, but he does know a lot more about touring bikes, so that's good. Uh, we don't have any touring bike stuff today. What we do have, first up, is this. This is Fabric's new Lumeray V2 Lite. So let's crack this open. So the Fabric Lumeray is a really nice, simple bit of kit. You might struggle for space on your bars, you might want to run a Garmin and also a daytime running light. And this combines the two effectively. So it has a Garmin mount on the bottom here and you just stick it on your mount. And then it's got another Garmin mount on the top and you stick it on top of your computer. So it sits between the Garmin and the mount. And there's also a little Wahoo plate here as well if you want to fit a Wahoo element to it. Um, it's a 60 lumen light, so it's not for seeing after dark, but it's great for being seen. Uh, it's got 270 degree visibility there, so you can see all the way around it. It's got uh, constant and flashing modes, and in flashing mode it'll run up to seven hours, so enough for a, a nice long ride. Really clever bit of kit, uh, £34.99, and we'll be sticking it on the test pile. So there's that, the Fabric Lumerate V2. So next up, and this was a bit heavy for pudding to hold, is the Blackburn Chamber Tubeless floor pump. Now, if you're running tubeless tires, you may already be using a compressor or you may have something like an air shot that you charge up to seal your tires, blow them onto the rim. And this Blackburn Chamber tubeless pump does that job as well as a floor pump. So this section here is a chamber that you charge with air. So it's got a quick release thing here. So click it to hit a charge. You pump it up. There's a big gauge on the top there. You can see that um, goes up to 160 PSI and over 140 it says it's charged. So you can charge this up to 160 PSI. And then when you release that, it will release all that air into your tire quickly to get it seated on the rim. Um, it's not the first one we've seen like this, but it is a very nice chunky bit of kit. And also it has one feature that we haven't seen before, which is that if you set it to release, it will release, but then you can pump and it will bypass the chamber, so you're not pumping air through this big chamber, so it makes it easier to pump up your tyres at the end. That's good. It comes with this handle as standard, a little uh, riser bar, but it's just a standard 31.8mm stem mount here, so um, if you want to fit your own handlebar, you put some drop bars on it if you wanted to, you can fit whatever you like, put some like big 780mm mountain bike bars on for some extra leverage. Um, other than that, it's got a really long hose, so it's a four foot hose, so it's easy to use on your work stand with the pump on the floor. And then it has a smart head as well with a bleed release valve. So everything you might need. Um, quite an expensive bit of kit, $149.99. But if you're doing a lot of tubeless and you want to get things seated easily, it's exactly the kind of thing you need. Okay, next up, thank you pudding, is the Gavia Fondo Zero tire from Giant. So this is a kind of wet weather winter training tire. Um, this is a 32 mil. So in this size, probably edging on its way towards being good for kind of slightly off-roady kind of towpathy, fire roady stuff as well. Plenty of air in that big chamber. Um, it's got a dual compound, so a harder compound in the center and then slightly stickier compound on the edges for better traction when you're cornering. And it's got a fair bit of tread on there as well too. Underneath the tread, there's a puncture protection layer, a Kevlar layer. Um, it's called Race Shield by Giant, but it's probably very similar to the ones you find on other tires. And also uh, you can see it's a folding bead, so a Kevlar composite bead. Uh, the tire's tubeless compatible and it has a 170 TPI casing. So it's quite a decent quality casing. Uh, in this 32 mil size, this tire weighs in at 370 grams. So it's not a super lightweight tire, it's more for kind of general winter riding, getting out when the thorns are on the roads and you can't see the potholes because it's too wet, that kind of stuff. So it looks like a good kind of winter option uh, or an all round option really, when the roads are like they are in this country. So there we go, that's the Gavia Fondo Zero. Okay, and lastly, but not leastly, we have these. Some nice disco slippers. These are the Suplest Edge Plus Road Pro shoes. Top of their range. 
So, these are 320 pounds a pair, and they weigh in in this size at just over 600 grams, so pretty light. What do we know about these? Okay, well, Suplest uses a microfiber upper for these, and you can see that we've got twin BOA dial closures there. Those are BOA IP1 dials. Um, in this section here, you can't see it, but I'll give you a close-up. Suplest uses uh, a layer of carbon fiber. Um, they say that that helps to equalize the pressure across your foot and give them a more comfortable feel. So whether that is true or not, I don't know, because uh, I haven't tried them on yet, and these ones wouldn't fit me anyway with my big feet. On the bottom, we've got a unidirectional full carbon sole there, all the way from the front to the back. Uh, Suplex doesn't have their own arbitrary rating for stiffness for their soles, but this is their top level shoe, so it's pretty stiff. Um, drilled three holes for a standard road cleat, and it's, you see it's vented at the front and the back there to get a bit of airflow under the footbed. Um, back there's got a heel bumper there, and at the front there's one too for a bit of extra traction and scuff resistance, that's good. Inside the shoe, if I can get it out, it's a bit of a squeeze, is the insole, which Suplex calls the Soul Star insole. Uh, you can see it's got a bit of ventilation at the front there, a bit of perforation, and it's very built up in the arch here, so what they're aiming for there is to get good connection with your foot all the way along for decent power transfer. And you can actually see through the vents at the bottom there as well, if you look closely. That's good. So there we go, those are the Edge Plus Road Pro shoes. We'll be getting out on some very short and socially isolated loops on them hopefully soon, and we'll report back on whether they're any good or not. So that's it. Those are your shiny things for today. Um, if you've got any questions about any of these things, ask them in the comments below. We'll get them answered for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more of me and Pudding here on Road CC in the future. Thanks for watching.